Hi, I wanted to quickly demonstrate um, a widget that um, I'm putting up for download for anyone who might want to use it. It's a really simple one, but it's also, I think, um, very versatile. It's a Google Maps widget, which is easy enough to do, but once you do it, um, it actually is very, very versatile. So um, I made this uh, basically a map of the world. You could write these yourself if you have the software to you know, write in IED or in Hype, but if you just wanted the the ease of having a Google map uh, and you really only want to have one because it's so adaptable this could be it for you so um, this uh, globe icon is the widget itself and I'll, I'll touch that and launch it and then you get the Google map of the world now um, this interacts with touch um, much as you'd expect it to uh, pinching and and to zoom and, and pulling or pinching to zoom out and um, spreading your fingers to zoom in you also have uh, down the bottom right the zoom in and zoom out on the keypad and the bottom left you have the Google Earth view so um, as you can see most of the world is visible here um, in fact you know, pretty much the whole world is visible if I wanted to zoom out um, and I give Google a chance to write it you'll see I can actually start to repeat you know, in the sequence there you can see several worlds sort of disorienting but um, if I zoom in I can go wherever I choose here, right? And the level of detail you can get in this is pretty incredible. So I'm just gonna go into New York, right? And I'll give it a chance to update every now and again. And if I zoom in on the island of Manhattan, right? It just takes a little for the internet to catch up to me. Um, I can actually get as detailed as I want to. I'm gonna go to the Metropolitan Museum here, right? and you can see the level of detail. It's giving me rooms inside of the Met. Um, it gives you the name of streets. It identifies where there's Starbucks, uh, things like that. If I switch to a Google Earth view, um, it's pretty incredible. So I can get as much detail as I want, or I can kind of go back and I can get the entire world overview. Um, anything is in bounds as long as Google has imagery for it. Um, within this one widget. So you really only need one for any part of the world you want to talk about. You can, you know, as a student or as a teacher, go to exactly where you want to and find as much detail, um, whether it's uh, politically, finding names of uh, towns and, and counties and states and countries uh, or cities, or uh, if you want to take the Google Earth view and find landforms and uh, man-made monuments, etc. So um, this is available for download on my site, and I hope you find it useful. Thank you.